Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today I wanted to share with you a thrift books haul. And also there's going to be a giveaway. Move everything around. I got all kinds of stuff on my table. We're not going to talk about it. <laughs> but my friend, KK, over at K&K &K Crochet, it's her and her daughter, Kristen. Um, they are hosting a Christmas extravaganza, I believe is what she's been calling it, in July. So it's getting there. <laughs> I'm going to participate in it along with her, along with some other Yarny creators. And then I think it's open also to like anybody who wants to participate in it. But she's going to be featuring um, Christmas patterns that are giftable. So it's going to be free patterns or super cheap patterns so that you can, you know, start early to make gifts for Christmas time. Anyways, she was getting, e you know, we were emailing about that and it got me on the Christmas kick, <laughs> which I'm almost always on anyways. So she just kind of helped nudge me there. <laughs> and I ended up at thriftbooks.com, which is a really good used book website. Does anybody remember when Amazon used to be only a used book website? I remember in my childhood, way back when, <laughs> um, seeing the commercials because we didn't have the internet. <laughs> um, of Amazon when it was just a bookstore, a used bookstore. And then now look at it. <laughs> anyways, no wonder that guy's a millionaire, huh? Billionaire, whatever. Uh, so anyways, I was on the thrift books. I was typing away, looking at all the little books. <laughs> and uh, I found some that I ordered. So I did order four, but I ordered two of one because I wanted to do a giveaway. Now, I'd never looked at any of these books. So I was just hoping on good, you know, like good wishes that these were going to be good books and I did flip through them and I do like them so I'm, I'm glad that they were good so I'm just going to share with you the books and I will link them below if there are any left in stock I believe one or two of these still had multiples in stock but I, th I think one of them it only said one was in stock but I will try to look and link them down below and I'll you know also if you want to you can just go to thrift books and peruse it yourself and find things I've ordered books in the past from there and I know a lot of other yarny creators have too and uh, there was another one too. I think it's called Able Books or something like that. Is another used thrift books thingy, I think. I don't know. <laughs> but the first one that I ordered was, is called Country Christmas Crochet. And it says edited by Laura Scott. But I think it's got a bunch of patterns from a bunch of different people. And it's from the House of White Birches, which is a publishing company, I think. And I, I believe I got a few pattern books from them. This is what the cover looks like. So it's kind of got a 90s feel to it. I bet it's from the 90s. Let's look. Oh yeah, this this is cool. I wanted to show you something that came inside the book. I don't think this book was ever used. Where's the copyright? 1998. I was correct. <laughs> so you can tell just by looking at that mom and daughter that it's the 90s. <laughs> but this book, when I opened it, it had this in it, which is a book cover to like one of those one of those books. <laughs> and my mom used to read these. I remember seeing them. But it's like not a used one, but it's autographed by the writer, Candace McCarthy. It says, best wishes, Candace McCar McCarthy. So I'm guessing there was like a book signing and whoever owned this previously went to it and um, got their book cover autographed and then stuck it in here as maybe a bookmark or something and left it in there. But I thought that was funny. So if anybody is a fan of Candace McCarthy, let me know and I'm, I'll send this to you because <laughs> I, I don't read these kind of books. Um, I've never read one. I might like it. Who knows? But I, I specifically remember my mom. My mom and dad growing up had one of those headboards that has like bookshelves. Like everybody had back then, you know, had bookshelves and like lots in it. <laughs> um, and she had a bunch of these in there. And I remember always, I knew what they were. They're, we, you know, they're romance novels is what everybody calls them. I don't know how smutty they are. I know nowadays there's some that are really graphic. <laughs> but I just thought it was so funny. It's called Irish Rogue. It reminds me, because, like, I specifically remember my mom had some with Fabio on it. Because back then, that's when Fabio was, like, like a hot ticket or whatever. Anyways, I just thought that was hilarious. So, back to this book. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Skip all this. So, it's got a bunch of different chapters. Let's see here. Holiday Hostess. Trimming the Tree. Skirts and Stockings. Comfort and Joy. Holidays at Home. The Christmas Spirit and Bright Shining Faces. But it's got just a lot of cute patterns in it. I flipped through them just a little bit. But like right here is some cute. What are those called? Pot holders? <laughs> Oven mitts? Hot mats. There you go. Oh, and I thought these were cute. I did see these. Look at these. I'm trying not to show the pattern too much. Those are so cute. Those are called snowman cookie jars. 
And there's toys in this one. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. It's a Barbie doll. That's so cute. Barbie doll outfit. And I haven't sat down and like really thumbed through this, but I know that there's going to be a lot of things in here that I'm going to be wanting to make. So wall hanging, afghans of course, stockings. I'm just trying to find something else cool to show. Just Christmas ornaments. A pig Christmas ornament. That's kind of weird. I love these pictures too. These 1990s pictures. Look at the couch. <laughs> so that's the first bag that I ordered. And the second one is called Christmas in Crochet, edited by Connie Ellison. This one actually says 58 projects for Christmas. This one I like. Actually, the next three are spiral bound books but with a hardcover so that's really cool this is also a house of white birches um production so this was just cute this one looks a little bit more worn but it's still in really good condition uh yeah so let's see what year this came out it says the first printing was 2010 in china so that's really not well i guess that was 13 years ago wasn't it <laughs> i guess that was a long time ago this one's um, categories are Oh Christmas Tree, Christmas Throws, Deck the Halls, Gift Giving, and Holy Jolly Christmas. <laughs> oh God, this baby. 13 years ago. That baby's like 14 or 15 now. <laughs> or 16, depending on when that picture was actually taken. Alright, so this one I do remember seeing a few that I wanted to do. I want to do them all, though. One of them's got Popcorn Garland. I've always wanted to make a crochet popcorn garland. It's on my list every year and I never do it. I want to make a real one, but um, in years past, I was worried Jesse would like eat it and choke on the stale popcorn. And now this year, I'm, I don't want June doing that. So I have to wait until they're older to make an actual one. This has got a few like, I don't have to consider graphic hands. But it's like the cover, you know, it's got the Santa one. And there's also a, um, I just saw it, where'd it go? Teddy bear one? I don't know if that's considered a Grafgan. I don't know what that's called. <laughs> uh, what else is in here? Angel, Do Angel Doily. These pillows I thought was cute. Specifically, the reindeer. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm showing them to you sideways, but it's because of copyright. You know, I don't want to share a pattern. That is purchase only. Flip through real quick. I wish all these books had, like the magazines do, where they have a picture of everything that's in it. I do like this. This is spiraled. I like these dolls, too. They're in, like, the gifts section. Their skin is way too pale. They're, like, white. That's, like, white, white. Um, that's kind of weird. But I thought they were cute. I'd probably do the hair different, too. But anyway, so that's that one. <laughs> it's pretty good size. It's got 58 patterns, it says. And then this is the one that I bought two copies of for one for me and one for whoever wins. Uh, and it is called Tis the Season to Crochet, edited by Bobby Matella and Mary Ann Fritz. And it's the Needle Craft Shop. The Needle Craft Shop. This is another spiral bound one, which is cool. I love spiral bound books. This one doesn't say how many um, patterns are in it. But its categories are <laughs> Wonderland Decorations, Splendid Tabletops, Handsome Greetings, Throughout the House, Special Wearables, and Quick Gifts. I feel like there's appliques to put on gift cards. That's cool. And again, I haven't really flipped through these. Always, you know, I found that autograph. It'd be cool to buy one of these books and find, like, money. <laughs> I thought these were cute. I did see these. To sit on, like, a mantle or entertainment center or something. There's a bunch of really cute patterns in here. So I think this would be really good for K and K's crochet along. Yeah, there see there are like appliques on gift cards. That's pretty cool. And also there's like wine wine uh cozy. Whatever those are called. <laughs> Kinda weird looking though with the leaves on it. Um Afghans. And I thought this was cool. This is one of those, it's a crochet dishcloth with one of those like, pl 
plastic mesh sponges. I've seen those before and I've always wanted to make one of those. I'm, I'm going to have to try that. That's pretty cool. But yeah, so this is just a cute, cute pattern books. It's got a big bear in it. So this is the one that I did buy two copies of. It was like $4, I think. And uh, the other two were around that. I think it was $23 altogether. And it had free shipping. I think they always have free shipping. Or maybe it's over a certain amount. I don't remember. But, um, see, twinsies. So there, I'm assuming those pink ones is in there too. I didn't see it. But they're both in really good condition. Usually on thrift books, it, um, it'll give you like a tier of how good they are. I usually click the worst condition because it's cheaper. Oh, this one's signed. It says, to Deb, love, little heart, happy stitching, 101706. And it's signed, mom. I don't think I can get rid of something my mom gave me. <laughs> but it'd be so cool to like buy one of these and flip through it and like find a hundred dollar bill. <laughs> no money. Oh well. Poor Deb. 2006. I was 16 that year. Actually, that was October 17th. That was... I can't remember what day she passed away on, but that was right around the time that my grandmother died. She died in October that year. Anyways... <laughs> Back to Christmas and happy things. Uh, so this is the book that I'm going to give away. It is open to anybody in the world who can a, a, who can receive a package from the United States. I don't know if there are countries that won't let you. But I've heard other people say that in giveaways. So I'm just going to say that, you know. Um, also, if you live outside of the United States, you might, and you win, you might have to pay taxes or duties or fees or something like that. That'll be up to you. That'll be on to you. I'll pay to ship it to you and then whatever other fees that are associated with, with pickup you will have to cover you do have to be over 18 years because for legal reasons for me to be able to uh, get your address from you um and you got to leave a comment only because i say that only because that's how i draw a winner <laughs> if you don't leave a comment i don't know how to you know put you in the name drawing and let's see here today is sunday may 21st <laughs> I think it's the 21st. I should have checked. Um, and I'm going to run this for a whole week. So it's going to end next Sunday. The 28th. At 11.59pm. Uh, p.m., And I will hopefully draw and announce the winner. The Monday after that. The 29th. Um, if that really depends on my children. <laughs> um, I will do it around, around that time. Um, so you have a whole week to get it entered. The winner will be announced via video with me saying it if you get a comment or anything like that from anybody who even if they look like me <laughs> um saying hey you want email me or call this number that's a lie it's a scam don't don't fall for that <laughs> don't click on any links or anything like that that anyone ever replies to you uh i will only announce the winner via video it'll come out of my mouth <laughs> and then after i announce the winner that winner will have one week to let me know that they seen the video and you know to contact me and you know we did the back and forth by address and all that stuff and then if that person doesn't contact me within that period i will redraw another winner and that will keep going until someone gets it <laughs> uh hopefully before the july the christmas in july extravaganza thingy so that you can maybe use this book to make you some little things for it um yeah so i think that's everything you don't have to be a subscriber but it'd be nice if you was you don't have to like the video, none of that stuff, you know, you don't have to do any of that, but you do have to leave a comment or I can't, you won't be, you know, picked <laughs> because, um, you know, there's no way I can add you to the pool if you're not on there. <laughs> but yeah, so even when this pretty copy or the other one, I don't know which one it'll be, they're both the same, so it's whichever one happens to get picked up that day. <laughs> um, they, it does have a sticker on it right here from Thrift Books, that's where they, you know, they categorize it. I don't know if you can pull that off. I'm not going to mess with it because I don't want to mess it up. But, uh, you know, you can take that off if you wanted to. But it's such a nice little book. It's got so many cute little patterns in it. So, you got a week to enter to win it. So, hopefully, good luck to everybody. <laughs> Only one person will win. But I'll still say good luck to everybody. And like I said, if I can, I will link these books down below. If you want to purchase the other two. Or if you don't think you have good luck and you want to, go ahead and purchase this one. Um, I'm sure you could probably find them on other websites too. I know Goodwill used to have a website where you could buy books and stuff or maybe it was through amazon i can't remember i used to buy books and movies from goodwills all over the u.s uh through i think amazon um 
but I don't know if you can still do that. But, uh, yeah. So, anyways, I'll try to link them below. And I guess that's going to be it. I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. And, uh, good luck to everybody. And I know it's a little early. Summer's just now starting up here in the nor northern hemisphere. But, um, Christmas comes. There's, there's little pieces of paper coming out of this one book. Little, you know, those, like, those little notepad things. <laughs> I don't know what those are called. Um, Christmas comes every year. And we all know it. A lot of us procrastinate until close to Christmas to make gifts. So if you can get started early, that would be great. <laughs> and if I can help you, that would be great too. But also for the Christmas extravaganza, I haven't talked to KK about it, but I'm probably going to have a giveaway too because we, we're going to be putting out a video on our channels as well. So I will probably, because I make bags, I'll probably, probably, why did I say that so weird? <laughs> I'll probably, um, make a Christmas themed bag of some sort. I don't know if it'll be project bag or notion pouch. I don't know. I'll figure that out. And I thought maybe it'd be cool to give away because I have a few Christmas patterns. I think they're just the uh, little gift bags in my Etsy shop. I thought I would give away a printed because I have a printer and um, I thought I would give away. Maybe I'll do that bundle. How many of those do I have? I have a Santa at boy and girl elf and a snowman. Do I have a Santa? Maybe I just have to summon the elf. I don't remember. I might print them all off for you, whoever it is. And I got a book binder. I might make a little tiny pattern book for you <laughs> um, with it. And yarn. I thought it would be fun to include Christmassy color yarns for that. So keep your eyes peeled for that when it comes out. But it's not until July. So you got a while to, um, to wait for it. <laughs> but I have a little while to also like brainstorm what I want to do. Um, and I, I wanted to try to like design a new pattern for that but I don't know if I will have the brain space to do that because kids <laughs> I blame everything on them but it is mostly their fault they take up a lot of my brain space but I'm gonna hop off here now <laughs> you guys go ahead and start leaving your comments and enter to win this cute little Christmas book and uh good luck to you all and I love you all <laughs> and all that stuff bye guys